Here I want to show the new polarity and solvation option in MolCalc. So let's make something simple, uh, like methanol for example, and hit calculate. Here it is, the new button, and if I click on this, I get all sorts of useful information about the polarity and the solvation in water. So the first thing you see here is the molecule surrounded by its molecular surface and superimposed or the surface is color coded to indicate a positive region. So that's blue here in the partially positive hydrogen and negative regions red here uh, from the partially positive oxygen. If you hold the mouse over the atom you get the charge so in this case it's minus 0.35, hydrogen here is plus 0.21 and so forth. Uh, the other thing you can do is display the dipole. So that points, that's a vector, as you can see in three dimensions, that, point, that points from the positive, predominantly positive region of the molecule to the predominantly negative region. Sometimes the dipole is hard to see uh, for some molecules. Uh, so it is possible to make the molecule translucent. That works best if you, if you turn off the, the surface. So you can see here uh, the, the molecule is translucent, but the dipole is not. So for example, if the, if the tip of the, ar uh, the arrow of the dipole is inside an atom, you can make it visible that way. Uh, okay, let's turn that off. Uh, let's get the surface back on. Uh, the other thing you get is the solvation energy uh, in water at 298 degrees Kelvin. Uh, and you get the two contributions to it, the polar solvation energy and the nonpolar solvation energy. Uh, you also get some things that help you interpret the solvation energy. So for example, the surface, the area of this surface that you see here, the charge of the molecule, and the dipole in the bi-unit.